Hallelujah. Good morning, beloved viewers. You are welcome to another edition of Daily Devotional Reading on Government Television. Gov TV brings to you this program every morning so that you can begin your day with freshness and vigor as the Word of God empowers you. Today is not going to be different. Pick up your copy of the Sunday School Manual as published by Government Christian Education Department. It is from here we will pick it up this great Tuesday morning. However, if you don't have a copy of this manual, you can access this material online by visiting the link on the screen as shown below. Let's begin in earnest by praying. Father, we thank you once again. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. As we go through your word to begin our day, let there be freshness of the oil. Let there be revelation. Empower us through your word. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This Tuesday morning, we go back to our general topic that we started yesterday to examine, which is the habit of biblical giving. The topic for the adult says, is my given making me happy? A very important question for each one of us to consider. Topic for the youth said, are you a cheerful giver? Then topic for the intermediate said, there is blessing, of course, so much blessing in giving. Today is Tuesday, like I've said before, the 20th day of January, in this brand new year, 2015. Our topic today says reasons why people do not give. I'd like us to read from the book of Haggai chapter 1. Haggai chapter 1 from verse 1. In the second year of Dairos, the king, in the sixth month, in the first day of the month, came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet unto Zerubbabel, the son of Shelter, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, These people say, This time is not come. The time is not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. Then came the word of the Lord by Hagar the prophet, saying, Is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your own houses? And this house lies west. Now, therefore, thus said the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown so much and brought in little. Ye eat, but you have not enough. Ye drink, but you have not filled with drink. Ye clothes, but there is none that is warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put into a bag with holes. Thus said the Lord, consider therefore thy ways. I like to stop here. As we explain this word. Ladies and gentlemen. My esteemed viewer. This particular account. As stated in Haggai. Was the story. That shows the condition. Of the children of Israel. When they came back from exile. The Bible said. They, le they left the house of God. Unbuilt. They left the house of God. That was destroyed. Many years ago. To lie in rooms. Everyone was busy amassing wealth. Everyone was busy building their own structures. They said the time is not yet convenient for them to build the house of God. Today, we are still faced with people that have this mindset. They live in mansions. They work so hard to make sure that they get the best in life. But they hardly invest for the work of the kingdom. They always say the time is not convenient. Hear me. You don't have a convenient time to give. Great giving is the one that touches you. Is the one that you practice. When the time was not convenient. The Bible says in Genesis 26. That Isaac sowed. In the time of famine. He sowed in the time. When people were running hater's culture. He saw in the time when people were confused. There's no rain. 
there's no harvest. That was the exact time that Isaac sowed in that land. And the Bible said he reaped the same year a hundredfold. Do you know that the widow of Zarephath also sowed in a time of serious famine? And the man of God declared and said, because you have done this, you will not lack any divine supply throughout the time of sowing. I just say to you, my listener, the best time to sow is the time of famine. The best time to sow is the time when people are keeping things to themselves. When they are hungry and they are complaining, wise men will always sow in the time of famine. Now, when they did not contribute to the building of God's house, what happened? The Bible said they were struggling. They labored so much, they got nothing. They invested so much, they were little harvest. And they were complaining. They said, ah, our labors are not yielding results. And then the man of God said, consider your ways. Listener, if you have been investing so much, and you have not been getting enough, it is time to sit down and consider your ways. Great people are those who sit down and assess what they have done before that did not bring results and correct it. It is insanity for you to do the same wrong thing over and over and expect a good result. Some people don't give. They say, our children are in school. No money for school fees. Some say, I've taken loan. Some even accuse leaders and say they mismanage the money. They waste the money. Listen, I have a personal practice and I believe that good givers give and expect God to bless them. Good givers don't give and go back and begin to ask questions and say, what did you use that money to do? If you're a good giver, you give and you go and wait on the Lord to bless you. Some people think only the rich can give. But hear this. The rich discover this secret and they give and God bless them. If you are poor, start today to give. Because when you give, you join the class of the rich because God will bless your giving. But when you don't give, you don't expect any blessing. I also want to encourage you. When you give, give by faith. Don't give because someone forced you. Don't give grudgingly. Give by faith. For without faith, no one can please God. Anything that is done outside of faith, God cannot reward it. It is important. Don't look at the economic situation of this country. So to God. So for the work of God. Contribute your best for the building of God's house. And God will surely bless you. No one has ever given to God without God blessing him in return. Before we pray, I want us to examine our point of emphasis for this great Tuesday morning. Point of emphasis for this Tuesday morning that says, There is no tenable reason for disobeying God's commandment in given. There's no excuse. That is good enough. There's no excuse that you can give. Whether you are poor, whether they have misplaced the money, whether things are hard, it's not a good reason. In fact, the only way to rise up is to start giving now. So you are going to pray and ask God, give me the spirit of obedience so that I will be a giver, so that I will be able to invest. And by so doing, I will rise up and join the class of those whom you are blessed. Close your eyes wherever you are, and I want to pray for you. Lord, I pray for myself and my viewer this special morning. As we go out, give us the spirit they had to obey God. Don't allow us to give any more excuses in this new year why we are not going to give for the work of God. Therefore, let there be grace to give. Let there be willingness to give. Let there be passion to give. May we give for the work of God who first loved us and gave his only begotten son. Father, we thank you. Now I pray for that man and that woman hearing the voice, sound of my voice. As you go out today, the Lord will increase you on every side. Whatever you expect today, the Lord will grant it your, your heart desire unto you. I command prosperity from the north, south, and west to come into your band. I bless you today. In the name of the Lord, I declare over you, it shall be well with you. Thank God for blessing us. Amen.
Yeah, dear viewer, I believe that you have gained something from the word of God that reached out to you. Join us again by 6 a.m. tomorrow as God wants to bless you through his word. Don't miss it. For questions, don't hesitate to reach us by email or call any of our dedicated lines. You can also watch this program online through our YouTube page. Thanks and God bless you. Amen.